welcome Dr. Afrié to the show. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. I think leadership has to begin in childhood. Um, it begins with self-identity uh, and self-esteem and self-image. Now as an adult, uh, I have gone on not only to be a physician, but to begin to activate other gifts and other talents, such as being an advocate and a leader in the community. Uh, I've begun a program called La Doctora's Angels, in which I want to encourage public donation of cord blood to the public bank. In our national marrow registry program, we have 70% of patients not able to find a match at all, and those patients will die, and we are continuing to throw placenta and umbilical cord blood into the garbage. Please welcome Dr. Afriye Emerson to the show. Welcome her. How are you? Thank you so much. I have a seat for a second. Because you know what? I have these three moms that are here that all have questions. And I thought, you know what? I better bring in somebody, the big guns, to see if I can help answer some of them. You gave birth the first time 15 years ago. Yeah. So, uh, Definitely. But it's, um, it's all new. All new. So all the things have kind of changed. Or have they, Doc? Actually, things have changed drastically in the past 15 years. More C-sections, I know that for a fact. Why is that? C-section is safer and safer and safer. The infection rate for surgery is going down and down and down as we learn how to control bacteria and how to prevent infection. Okay. Secondly, the risk to the child. When I was born, one in 200 infants, Montel, would die. Now, one in 20,000. I'm a new grandmother. My grandson is 18 months old, and he's very energetic, and me being the age that I am, <laughs> it's kind of difficult for me to try to keep up with him. Any recommendations? How old is he again? 18 months. 18 months old, you can do just very simple things that move from one end of the floor to the next, like a relay race. And that's good for you, too. Back and forth, and back and forth, back and forth. And then we'll have a child that sleeps well at night. Yes, ma'am, you had a question. Actually, I have a question about, I have a four-year-old and a 15-month-old. The four-year-old is definitely expressing some hostility. You don't want to get in the habit of simply punishing the four-year-old for hurting the younger 15-month-old, because that will actually foster the resentment. If instead, every time the four-year-old, if it's 30 seconds of good behavior, you've got to jump in there and say, what a fantastic big brother, something that they would want to be proud of and want to be. So you're really, you're reinforcing the best. <laughs> treated for an eating disorder. An eating disorder and pregnancy are not mutually compatible. And it places the pregnancy at high risk. We will be doing a few tests today and we'll be following these results as you move through the pregnancy. She already is completing one of the three trimesters of her pregnancy. So starting off with self-destructive behavior and moving through one trimester in that fashion greatly affects the baby's ability to have the cells expand. The brain and the spinal column have developed already. And so it is the time for her to put her body in a position of sustenance. Her calories need to be monitored. Her nutrition needs to be balanced. She needs to be weighed. She needs to meet certain criteria with her weight. Already, for the conclusion of the pregnancy, this will be a high-risk pregnancy. That now is not changeable. So we have to be very active and very involved. I have been in private practice now for seven years as of this summer, and so my duties include complete women's care, and I take care of uh, adolescents. I do surgery on women, of course, office care and counseling, and obstetric care, which is the most fun, bringing newborn life into the world and caring for the pregnancy and the time after the delivery.